Alec here, you're on my channel, and I'm gonna talk about makeup and skin and all that nonsense. Oh, hello, I am here again, and you are too, I think. Unless you're new, then welcome. Oh, I hate talking about my skin, but I feel like I should do that because I don't know, I guess people like when people are vulnerable and sensitive, so I'm gonna go ahead and be vulnerable and sensitive. My skin is very sensitive, and that probably comes mostly from my father. My dad constantly was itching, and he had like very irritated skin, and that's very much what I have, so yeah, logic. And believe it or not, I actually don't get that much acne. What I do have on my skin is horrible irritation and sensitivity. Before I get too far into this video, I would like to first say that nobody needs a reason to wear makeup. You can just love it for the artistic expression because in general you like it, or because you feel more confident about yourself, or just because you want to. There doesn't have to be a reason to wear makeup and it's for all people, all identities. Makeup does not have a gender. What is wrong with these people? I feel like some people kind of are still stuck in like 1940 where they don't really understand that the world is changing and gender norms are kind of that way. I mean, there still are some. One doesn't necessarily have to follow them. It's your choice whether you decide to follow gender norms, but I personally don't really follow them all. So if you're a guy, don't be shy. Go ahead and try some makeup on. Only if you want to though. You don't have to want to wear makeup. It's just if you do, then go ahead and just do it. Just because somebody wears makeup and they're not a female doesn't mean that they should be ridiculed for it. And if you want to ridicule somebody for it, you can ridicule me because I don't care. But don't ridicule somebody else because some people are still very self-conscious about it. Very upsetting. Anybody can want to wear makeup and anybody can wear makeup. The idea that men should not wear makeup is a load of stupid human propaganda. And always wear makeup. Makeup is good for everybody. Makeup. It's good for me. My skin has always been kind of a problem. I don't have good skin. It's the truth. I have really bad skin, everyone. It might not look like it with my makeup on. It makes me look a little bit less infectious. I'll kind of lean in close so you can see the bumpies if there are any bumpies right now. I'm sure there are. There always is like a couple of them. Most of the problems with my skin is from shaving. I have a very compulsive desire to have a completely shaven face. Like I want to be smooth. I don't want it to look like I ever grew hair ever. I have nearly perfected my shaving regimen. I know what I need. I need lots of moisture. I need a cleansed face before. I need cold water to close my pores after I shave. And then I need a cream of some sort to totally like, like hug me until I'm totally dry. So if I plan to shave, I usually need to wake up an extra hour and a half before because I can only shave in the shower. That's another thing. If I shave outside of the shower, ooh, 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 that's not good. I bleed a lot. So I do go down at least once and up at least once. That's what I usually try and minimize it to. But even with being super careful, my skin will still get irritated. It's unavoidable. <sighs> and because I'm pale, the red definitely sticks out. It's like a Ugh, it's like I played Red Rover in the wrong playground. I have this really horrible tendency to constantly touch my hair. My hand will slightly glide up against the side of my face. Even though it's the slightest touch and I don't even realize I'm touching my face, that consistent friction, that's how much I touch my hair, has caused me to get like friction burn on the like contours of my face near my cheekbones where I put my bronzer. My skin is just sore. I have sore, sour skin. I am super thankful for makeup for being able to cover all the nonsense that doesn't really work out for me. Ooh. In general, I feel slightly more confident when I'm wearing makeup. So that's a big thing for me because I do not have confidence. I have the confidence of a booger. I encourage everybody to go out and try doing makeup stuff because makeup stuff's really fun and before I started wearing it I didn't realize that there's a whole like world of makeup out there that's very engaging and fun and artistic and just 
great. So go ahead and like explore a little bit. Without all this lovely product on my skin, my skin is pretty atrocious. Let me give you a sneak preview. My skin just gets enraged with this red, bumpy nonsense. My skin is really bad. <laughs> my professor just waved at me. My skin will inflame if I do not use something super, super carefully and sensitive skin friendly and just, I don't know, my skin can even get crazy then. My skin is just like me, it's scared of change. This is what it looks like directly after the time I shave. If I use a product that is made for sensitive skin, but I've never tried before. I'm very thankful for full coverage foundation. If I come a little bit closer, you can probably see more bumps underneath my makeup. I don't want you to see them all, so I'm not going to show you, but they're there and I'm pretty sure you can kind of tell. I'm perpetually an itchy, rashy mess and it's just gonna be that way probably forever. And that's fine. <sighs> Aside from the fact that I thought it would be kind of cool to show people like what it is that happens when I don't wear makeup and why I feel like I should wear it all the time. The other reason is because I actually was confronted by somebody the other day. They were really upset about their skin and they asked me what I did with mine because they thought my skin was so clear and they couldn't tell I was wearing makeup. Which is weird. I don't really get compliments in person ever because I mostly live on the internet and I don't really like to talk to people I don't really know. So, uh. it made me feel so bad because, like, this person was very vulnerable and you could tell they were really anxious, but they did come up to me and I super appreciate that. It made my day that they complimented my skin. I just felt bad that they were feeling very insecure about their skin and that it was getting them sad and stuff. So, I figured I'd put this video out there just in case there are other people out there that are super upset or feeling down about themselves because their skin is like a raging mess and they want somebody to relate to about that. I will go ahead and share what my skin looks like. So it is about 20 minutes past my shower and my skin is really irritated so I had to put some aquaphor, a thick coat of aquaphor on my face to soothe the burning rash from my shave. And I'm hoping the aquaphor will help to soothe it. Never put aquaphor on your face though. <laughs> you really shouldn't do that. But I literally don't have a choice. I don't have any moisturizer and my skin might break. It might just crack open like an earthquake. So we don't have many options here. We have to put something on it. My skin's so dry, it'll probably soak up all the aquaphor. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And that's just basically my skin. And please make sure that you're kind to people about their skin. They can't help it. I mean, I've been in that situation before where I had really bad pizza face and I couldn't do anything to prevent it from being a pepperoni powwow. So just, you know, be kind to people. Just, I don't know, have general human decency. Don't make it harder for the person who has skin problems, like myself or that person that came up to me. They were really sad. The important thing to remember is that not everybody is super confident in their own skin, their literal skin, and just in general who they are. So we all have to be more positive and mindful of that and just more accepting and friendly to everyone. It has been a super joy for me to talk about the magic of makeup and the somber skin that I have on my face. Thanks so much for putting up with me and watching the entire video. You have made it to the end. All my social media links are in the description. Make sure you get a chance to fan me on you now, to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and to even friend me on Facebook if you'd like to. That way we can kind of hang out and chat and other stuff if I'm live, or we can just kind of know each other and chill and stuff on the internet. That's where I live. Give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it. Or leave a comment if you have any feedback for me or if you have a skin regimen that you'd like other people to know about or you'd like to share with me. Always support boys in makeup. Don't judge people. Just hug people. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful rest of your evening. Okay. Oh, what's it?